I mean, really, you could think of the brain as a biological computer. So if, if there are certain, say, chips or elements of that biological computer that are that are broken, let's say your, your ability to, if you've had a stroke, that means you've got some part of your brain is damaged. Let's say it's a speech generation or the ability to move your left hand. That's the kind of thing that a neural link could solve. If you've got like a mass amount of memory loss that's just gone, um, well, we can't go, we can't get the memories back. Uh, we could re restore your ability to make memories, but we can't you know, restore memories that are that are fully gone. Now, now I should say, if 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 you maybe if part of the mem memory is there, um, and the means of accessing the memory is the part that's broken, then we could re-enable the part, the ability to access the memory. So, but you can think of it like RAM in your you know in a computer. If if uh, you know if the RAM is destroyed uh, or your SD card is destroyed, we can't get that back. But if the connection to the SD card is destroyed, we can fix that. If, if it is fixable physically, then yeah, then it can be fixed.